This formula is going to be creating and calculating the number of occurrences of a particular value in a range. So these are the value columns. This is the range. This is where we've got the formula. So this formula is looking for a value of 3 within this range. It occurs twice. Here the value of 5 occurs once. Here the value of 2 occurs 5 times, 2 occurs 0, and foo occurs 3 times. So this is the app script that's behind the screens for the formula that's being used within the sheets. Let's count the given occurrences in a particular range. So this is our range of numbers. We need to convert these strings into an array looking for this particular value. So let's first set up a function. So opening up the script editor under extensions, app script. So this will open up the app script editor where we can create the custom formula. And we'll just call it count value. And it's going to take in the first value of the range and then return back the value and just set that function up so that we can use those. And first we'll start and we'll check to have a value of count. So this is going to be incrementing while we loop through those values within the range. So we need an array and right now the range is going to be it's going to be a string value. So let's convert the range into an a usable array format. So we've got the value for range and using the JavaScript split we're going to split it by comma separation. So that will separate each one of those values. And then we want to return back. So just make sure that it is an array. So we're turning back the length of the array. So that's going to return back 5. So it does see 5 values in there. 6. And so that's all working where it's calculating and it's taking it in as an array. And so we want to now loop through the array items. So we can use the for each method in order to loop through each one of the values and just return it back as a V. And as we loop through each one of the values, whatever we want to do with that value. So right now we want to check to see if it's equal to val. And if it is, then we're going to increment count. So taking the value of val, checking to see if it's equal to V. And if it is, then we'll take the count and we're going to increment it by one. And also for the value of V, let's go ahead and we're going to trim that. So in case there's any additional white space, that will account for that. And then we'll return back the value of count. So it's just doing a simple counter for the occurrences. So in this case, we're looking for occurrences of three within this array. Update that. So now we've got two occurrences of the value three. Here we've got three occurrences of foo. We've got zero occurrences of the value of two. If we change that to one, we'll have the five occurrences. And now we've got the return back counter of the occurrences of the values within the string arrays. And then you can update these as needed.